you've been able to build a large following on social media as an influencer for nuclear energy. How have you used your platform to raise awareness about this topic and what kind of impact do you hope to have? So I had kind of a, a big platform already from my modeling career. And I had an existential crisis of kinds, you can say, where I was questioning what I wanted to do with, you know, my life and what type of impact I wanted to have. And whenever I realized that nuclear power had to be a part of the solution to climate change and a lot of people were not talking about it or still had so many misconceptions, I decided to use, you know, my platform at the time to start advocating for nuclear. And I started making pretty unique, um, weird content, but it resonated with a lot of people. And that's how I've been able to grow that platform. And now I mostly just focus on educating the broad audience about nuclear power, why we needed to solve climate change, what the misconceptions are. And it's been a fun journey. And in your opinion, what are some of the biggest misconceptions that people have about nuclear energy and how do you address them? Obviously, the biggest one is that it's dangerous, which is mind boggling to me because we have so much evidence in very, very mainstream you know, academic settings that tells us that nuclear power is one of the safest forms of energy. It's comparable with renewables. And of course, when you compare it to coal, natural gas and oil, it is extremely safe. But of course, people have these biases and, you know, we, we can only remember the things that we see on the news, the things that are big in our memory. And so most of us only remember the accidents. You know, there have been three major accidents, which is not a lot. If you think about nuclear power being a technology that's been used for decades at this point, I think the biggest misconception is that it's dangerous. And I encourage people to look this up on Google. It's not like you're going to find it on a 10th page, sketchy websites. This information is widely available. And at this point, it is amazing to me that people don't know it. And I think the second biggest misinformation is waste, where the idea that nuclear waste is specifically bad, that it's, you know, damaging our environment, when the reality could not be further from the truth. The nuclear waste is one of the safest forms of waste we produce as a society. I would argue that we should treat every waste that we create as we treat nuclear waste, which right now comes out of the reactor, is completely contained, accounted for, protected, has never, we don't have a single case in history that we know of, of somebody being hurt or killed by nuclear waste. So it's mind boggling to me as well that we focus on this thing that we think could hurt people potentially in the future. Meanwhile, we have the waste from fossil fuels, which is already, you know, killing millions of people every year just from air pollution alone, plus all the deaths attributed to climate change. And, you know, plastic waste, electronic waste, you name it. There are so many types of waste that are actually damaging the environment right now. And what role do you see nuclear energy playing in the future of energy production? and why is nuclear energy important? I think that we cannot decarbonize our global economy without nuclear power. And I think that a lot of experts and energy experts are coming to that conclusion as well. You know, the closer we get to deploying a huge amount of renewable energy, we now know that those technologies have their limitations. They're great, but they have their limitations. And nuclear can be a complement. I don't see it as just nuclear power, or just renewables. I think we're going to need all the clean energy that we can get, because we have no historic precedent of a society just diminishing their energy consumption. I mean, we do, but it's a depression and it's not good. So I think we're going to keep increasing our use of energy. And for that reason, we're going to need more and more clean energy and nuclear power has to be a part of it. It provides something that is very unique. It provides clean energy that works 24 seven, independent of the weather. And I think that there is no future without nuclear power. And finally, what do you think about countries who shut down their nuclear power plants? I think that is the biggest mistake anybody can do at this point in, in human history. We know from examples in the United States, for example, Indian Point, in New York, just recently closed. Governors promised that it was going to be fully replaced by renewables. Of course, the next day it was fully replaced by natural gas and the same happened in San Onofre in California. And of course, there is Germany. And Germany has been on a mission for, you know, over a decade now to shut down a nuclear power plant. And we have so much data, again, that this was a mistake. You know, there, there are some new calculations that came out recently by a researcher called Hannah Ricci from Our World in Data. And she calculated that if Germany had deployed all the renewables that they did in the past few decades, but used those to replace coal instead of nuclear, they could have reduced their coal consumption by half. So this is a huge mistake. Obviously, we know that coal is the 
deadliest of all energy forms. You know, I think it's not a crazy assumption. It is not a crazy statement to say that more people have died in Germany from coal than in the world from nuclear accidents. So this is just pure dogmatism. And I also know that the German public doesn't want that. The German public was in favor of keeping their nuclear power plants open. So I have a question for the German public, which is who is representing you? This is a dogmatic, crazy decision. And I think you should make your voices heard.